Alright guys, welcome back. So this time we'll, let's talk about the Hearthstone Battleground update. So this will be the update for December 5th. Alright, so uh, right off, let's see, we have three new heroes that are added. Ad Edwin Van Cleef, Sharpen Blades, is going to cost one mana. Uh, give a minion plus one plus one for each minion you've bought this turn. So what this does is potentially it's going to give a minion plus three stats um, at the end of like when you have ten mana. And you buy three three minions and you'll be able to buff uh, a, a minion for three stats plus three plus three. So I think Edwin Van Cleef is going to be pretty relevant. Uh, due to uh, the way the game is being played, um, we like to grow as much as possible. And this, what this will do for us is, um, we're gonna be able to infinitely grow our minions. Uh, we're gonna, we're not gonna worry about not getting light fang, not getting like the continuous growth cards like Max Sensei, and etc. So, uh, I think Edwin is gonna be placed in a pretty top tier, in my opinion. Well, this is just in my own opinion, so you guys don't have to worry about anything. And just um, this is probably just going to be a news update for me, and then I'm kind of discussing what the cards do. So moving on, uh, we have Sylvan's Wind Runner. Um, it costs a zero. Remove a friendly minion to give adjacent minions plus one plus one. So this is kind of interesting because this kind of works with token cards, and uh, with token cards, it kind of works a little. Um, because you're gonna give the adjacent minion, you have to posi position it well enough, and then you're gonna sell off the minion. Um, well that's probably how it goes. Uh, early game synergies is probably with the token minions, and late game you're just probably gonna keep buying continuously, and then just selling and buff up the two adjacent minions that you want to get buffed. So Sylvanas Spin Runner is also a pretty good champion in my opinion. Hero, sorry. Um, and then we have Arc Villain Reform. Now this one is the most interesting one among the, the three heroes. So his power is called I'll Take That. It costs one mana and then next combat uh, it, it adds a plain copy of the first minion you kill to your hand. So what this does is uh, the first minion that you kill will be added to your hand. So it's a, like a free three cost card. Uh, it's a free card. The first card that you kill you will take. So in my opinion this card has a lot of potential in the early game because it kind of gives you one additional minion. So probably out of the tree here, early game, I'm giving the props to reform. Edwin for the easier scaling and the Sylvanas for like the really quick decision making and positioning. So yeah, Sylvanas will probably be the, the hardest to play among all of this, this three new heroes. So. Um, moving on, we're gonna have the heroes they are living. Uh, Patches, unfortunately, the 60 health god. Oh, wait, sorry. Patches is the pirate. We won't be able to see him there anymore. Uh, his mana was one mana. I got it confused with Patchwork. I kind of re read that wrong. Sorry, guys. So, Bartenotron Pyramid and Professor Putricide and Trade Prince Gallowix are being removed. Um, not much changes in like the really top tier list. Because this kind of these cards were all uh, these heroes weren't able to compete as well as the other heroes. Uh, so Mana Storm is returning. We're gonna have more Max going on and Leech Bazal. All right, uh, I haven't really tried out the Leech Bazal. So here comes the more interesting part. Uh, there are two minions that are added to our pool, which are King Bargurgle and Floating Watchers. So if you guys didn't know, right? Um, for tier five. I believe uh, there's only one minion for Murlocs. I could be wrong, uh, forgive me. So let's talk about King Bark Bar Bar Gurgle. I'm struggling just to pronounce the name. So he has six health, six attack, and three health. Uh, the battle cry and death rattle give your other Murlocs plus two plus two. So, in my opinion, uh, a really good buff card. A lot better than uh, Cold Light. We could potentially even scale up because when you were playing Cold Light, you would like to remain in tier two as early, uh, as long as possible. So with the addition of King Bar Gurgle, uh, you'll be able to tier up to tier four and try to look for this card as soon as possible. And even if like uh, you're winning pretty, uh, really, you're doing really well in the game, you could potentially even tier up to tier five and get closer to um, the Gentle Mega Source even earlier. And so this is where the King Bar Gurgle comes in. So, Murlocs are much better to play now. Because uh, usually when you play Murlocs, early game, you're kind of just looking for the cold lights and the amalgams, 
all the buff cards as early as possible. But now you kind of like, there's a mid game transitioning. King Bargurgle will allow that. So, okay, so moving on, this is kind of like a really special card that I kind of tried out but never got it to work. The Floating Watcher. I've tried like three or four games in a row to try to build the Floating Watcher. So there's this 1-1 one, one card that exists, right? Um, it gets you. It deals two da one damage to you, and every time you play a demon, so it will synergize really well with Floating Watcher. Although you do not really want to take too much health, so uh, so if I would rate King Bar Gurgle, uh, he would be probably a seven or eight out of ten, because it fits right in into what Morlocks really needed and wanted. So with uh, especially since it's a tier five. Uh, it will synergize with Bran. Bran will really like this card. And even Death Rattle. So we potentially can have a Death Rattle synergy and a Battlecry synergy going for the Morlocks. Going back to the Floating Watcher, uh, I tried to make it work. And out of like the three games that I tried to make it work, I only got to top 4 once. Uh, because I was so occupied with trying to get Floating Watcher. So Demons will probably... Uh, this is like an early pickup. So when you have... Uh, 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 a triple 2 cost card and then you're at tier 2 and then you pick up floating watcher that's probably like okay I can transition into demons that's what you think to yourself so floating watchers I would not recommend because it kind of doesn't help the demons too much you still have to take damage which is not really something the demons really like too much and uh, yeah so floating watchers is an addition it's not a must in the demon synergy Okay, so let's look at the balance changers. So this is the, probably the card I want to highlight the most, Light Fang and Forcer gets a nerf. So the changes are from a plus two plus two to a plus one plus two. So what this does is, okay, this does quite a lot of things. Uh, with the lower plus one health, uh, Light Fang and Forcer does not become as strong as it, it used to, but Definitely still a really good card because continu continuously buffing your minions every turn is really good, and it only and it gives a uh, Mac Beast Murloc and Demon this buff. So by having uh, two amalgams, Light Fang will still be very relevant in the game right now. All right, so let's look. Okay, Mana Storm had a change. So instead of giving a plus one attack and a plus one health, it's gonna change to only get plus one attack. So this is really huge for a Mana Storm. Um, Mana Storm used to be a really high tier until it got removed um, but now that it came back only with a plus one attack this is gonna change a little bit it's probably gonna drop in terms of viability to try to if you're always trying to win and uh, Patchwork uh, this one's the card I match uh, I got confused with because of the P at the, at the, in the initial P alright his starting health is gonna get a nerf now this is gonna be interesting uh, why I say it's gonna be interesting is because 60 health was 20 full additional health. With less than 10 health, um, you could die a little very early, uh, much more earlier than than usual. 10 health is quite a bit of health um, for early game. So 10 health might really affect the standings. Okay, so now let's talk about AFK. Skip your first two turns, start with a minion from Tavern Tier 3 and Tavern Tier 4. Start with two minions from Tavern Tier 3. This completely just changes the way AFK plays now. Um, what defined AFK was the Tier 4 card. Because when getting the Tier 4 card, you could get Max Sensei. Um, what else? The Hydra. And so if you got into a Hydra, you will pick a pack leader. So you could pos possibly go into a mech synergy. So getting two tier 3 cards now changes like those priorities, you know. You won't be able to get max initially. Uh, the max Sensei, um, as well as the Hydra. I'm not too sure if there's any good tier 4 cards that I'm missing, but yeah. So AFK is probably going to go down in, in terms of, of viability. And then let's see here. Rat King uh, got its nerf, plus one, plus one, from a plus one, plus two to a plus one, plus one. I guess that's reasonable. The Rat King was always had a relatively high win rate. Alright, okay. So uh, Lich Bazil, get a coin and take three damage, get a coin and take two damage. So this was uh, 
a hero I really wanted to try to make it work, but I sadly like um, getting an additional mana was only really good at the early early turns. It doesn't really help you by a lot. Uh, it could help you get additional minions in the early game, but late game, you don't really want to take that damage. Uh, that's what I think. Yeah. So this is, and then finally the great Akazam Zarak pre. Uh, I'm not gonna read that. Will now be harder to get ice block consecutively. So this is the card where you can continue to get secrets. And the way it will work is you continuously get ice block, and then ice block will give you uh will make you avoid lethal. And so what what really makes this uh hero a really good one was because it could uh stay you could stay alive for a really long time if you if you got lucky and you keep getting ice blocks consecutively. So they removed this, so now I guess the great Akazam Zarag is gonna go down in terms of viability as well. And then they remove Hand of Salvation as a possible secret. Uh, I'm gonna have to look that up, I'm not too sure what that is. And then, okay, so advanced stats are now live uh, for people who have 10 or more dragon packs. So if you purchase 10 packs, you'll be able to get the advanced stats. So it'll tell you, um, I guess, all of the stats here. So you guys can check that out. Um, I haven't bought 10 packs, so I wouldn't know. Uh, but do, do leave a comment down below for all the people that uh, have purchased Titan Packs and tell us uh, what are kind of some of this, this stuff that you got, the advanced stats that are available. Uh, people, uh, people should look in the comments so that they see your comment and then uh, hopefully you'll be able to tell them and share the knowledge around. So a note on performance, uh, with this update, players on low-end devices may experience degraded performance with continuous effort to address. So okay. Um, we're probably gonna have some performance. I think. I guess this is an improve. You're gonna get less laggy. So yeah, uh, this is probably a summary of the update. So I hope you enjoy this. Um, I hope it isn't too much. Uh, this is the first time I'm trying to do this. I like to cover Battlegrounds content a lot, and so I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, please leave down comments on what you think of the changes made to the heroes as well as all the minions. I kind of feel so. Sh uh, so sad that Lightfang got nerfed. It was my favorite card from the tier five list, in my opinion. So um, I'm not gonna waste you, uh, you guys' time, your time anymore. Uh, keep grinding, get to that high rating, and let's see. If we all succeed. Oh, okay, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.